Hello everyone, welcome to Visual Arts Teller. I am Sudeep and today I am going to teach you how to create a very very quick and interesting animation technique in After Effects. Today's topic is flying paper animation. And the most important part is that I have used the same technique for the ending of the title No Time to Die. Hope you guys have already seen it. But if you are new to the channel, then please do watch it and hit the like and the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get the notification as soon as I upload a new content. So now let's jump into it. So first of all, I will create a comp as usual and I will choose the preset HDTV 1080 but I will change the frame rate to 30 frames per second and the duration will be 1001 and you guys make sure that you also choose black for the comp PG color that will help you at the time of the animation hit ok and now I will create a shape layer select ellipse tool and I will draw a circle by pressing shift and left mouse button together and now I will press Ctrl Alt Home to set the anchor point at the middle of the circle and then I will simply align the circle at the middle of the comp. Now it's time to create the animation. So first of all I will hit the P with selecting the shape layer to open the position and then I will slightly move it to the right. Now before uh, creating the animation I will make it 3D. Now I will click the stopwatch to create a keyframe for both position and orientation and now move to 7 frame actually I will move those keyframe to 7th frame and press shift T to open the opacity option and I will create a keyframe with opacity down to 0 and go to 7th frame and I will make the opacity up to 100 for the first 7th frame it will appear on the screen and now I will go to somewhere at 19 and then again I will move it to another position and thus I will create the animation but I will recommend you to study and learn the animation technique first before creating on your own you can uh, watch a reference video or cartoon animation video or uh, you can learn from any animators guidebook or you can simply search images for the reference as you can see I have created a simple path animation and now I will add some rotation and in betweens to make it more appealing now I can rearrange the keyframe to make the timing a little bit perfect and here it is so basically the animation is done and now I can create a new solid with dark gray color and and I will select the shape layer and add a drop shadow effect. Now you can see that the shadow is moving incorrectly along with the shape. So I have to make quick animation for it. So, so now uh, I will create a keyframe for softness, distance, opacity and let's see for the direction. 
now select the shape layer hit u two times and now i will down the opacity to zero and at this point i will make the distance and the opacity to 30 distance to 54 softness like somewhere near 15 here at this point opacity must be a little bit higher like uh, somewhere 40 softness is like 4 because uh, shadow should be less softer when it's close to ground and the direction should be like 155 and at this position i will change it to 135 and by moving far from the initial position i will increase the distance and softness of the shadow and turn down the opacity towards zero so that it could disappear smoothly by time as you can see i have done this animation quickly for the tutorial but you can take some time and you can make it more properly here you can see that i made a few duplicates of the shape layer and then readjusted their parts and keyframes according to time to create different animation and also added different fill effect for each layer and the flying paper animation is complete so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have found this tutorial useful then hit the like button and share it with others and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.